でも別に難しいし。Okay, for top secret, we're gonna play two videos and then we're gonna show off some of your latest designs. See you on the other side of the videos. Hi, Jepler here. You've caught me playing with my latest project for Adafruit called the Infinite Text Adventure with CircuitPython and OpenAI.、Um, with this project, which is running on a Pi Portal with a lovely case by the Ruiz brothers,、uh, at every step you get presented with four choices and you touch the screen in one of the quadrants to decide what you do. And I think before we、uh, go any further, we need a flashlight. The、uh, guide I'm in the process of writing, the code is already up on our、uh, GitHub. So if you're enterprising, you can check it out now. But otherwise, look for this project. Soon and create your own adventure using CircuitPython and OpenAI. All right, I think we need to check the pile of papers. Can't wait to see what happens next. Hey, Lady Ada, what's this? Hey, I'm going to do a live demo where we program this ESP32S2 over USB from Bitbang USB host on a Pico. This is very exciting. So let's plug it in. We place the test. I gotta be careful not to get in the way of the Pico's. Make sure the board is on and press the button. So, this is kind of neat because I'm using USB host to connect via ESP tool to the built in ROM bootloader. I'm programming it with a gzipped、um, test firmware, so it's actually stored in、uh, the flash memory, not、yes. on a USB. Yeah, it's, it doesn't use micro SD. It takes only 12 seconds to fully program and test. This Metro ESP32 S2, and I don't need to use a Raspberry Pi. I love Raspberry Pis, but this is really fast and solid state, so I don't have to worry about any SD cards.、Uh, so, this revision is coming to the store real soon with this new faster test. All right, and then here's the weather report. <laughs> okay,、um, so more Pi Cow Bells. So, since I was doing a lot of CAN bus stuff,、um, I thought it would be fun to maybe、um, whip up a CAN bus. Uh, Pico Bell. So it goes on a Raspberry Pi Pico or Pico W and adds CAN bus using the MCP2515 and a TJA1051 transceiver and a little fiber booster.、Um, you know, I think there's no native CAN peripheral on the RP2040. I know that there's people who kind of like bit banged CAN, but I think, you know, MCP2515 isn't too expensive. I don't mind, you know, going with a chip.、Um, So, you have like a well known chip and, and has buffers and is, is no, you know, it'll, it'll handle and make interrupts for you and you aren't、um, bit banging it because、um, I think、uh, this is a good solution. So, we're going to fab that.、Uh, we also made an all in one since I was already there and like doing the stuff, made a Feather RP2040 with a CAN bus chip also on it. So, it's all in one、um, if you want to use a Feather for battery powered tech projects. Uh, and also the USB host feather, which I think is kind of the most interesting because it uses our Bitbang USB host、uh, implementation in Tina USB, thanks to,、um, I keep remember, forgetting their name, I think it's Ginnock,、uh, the person who originally did、uh, the code to、uh, run USB host on RP2040 using a core and like almost all the PIOs,、uh, tacked an amazing job adding it to Tina USB. I've been using it in that tester you saw that was using the、uh, Bitbang USB host. Um, mass storage works, CDC works, HID works.、Uh, so, this adds a little、uh, boost converter up there、uh, to give you a nice 5 volt,、uh, 500 milliamps from either the battery or whatever your power supply is、um, to power your peripheral. So, it could be interesting for like, you know, some ideas I came up with was logging to a USB key because then you can just un- you know, pull it out, stick it into whatever, and the data's there ready to go.、Yeah. Um, a little more convenient than having to carry around a A micro SD card, which like always pops off and flies across the room.、Um, that's what they do best. And then、um, also a HID remapper, which I thought was neat. And some accessibility p r o j e c t s That's a good idea. Where you, know, you can plug in、um, yeah. you know, something that is not HID or it needs a weird driver. And it will make it inaccessible. And then it makes it or remaps it, it moves、yeah. it around, it turns into a modern device.、Um, because modern HID you know, works with iOS and Android and Chrome、yeah. OS, but some older devices are like, kind of weird. Yeah, like fun- a lot of the accessibility stuff isn't, and you know, it's been around for a while. So that'll be、yeah. a way to modernize it. This could be really neat. So I'm kind of I'm like psyched about this.、Um, I think it's kind of the weirdest of the bunch. Yeah.、Um, but I think it has the most potential to be、uh, really cool. Retro stuff, too.
Adafruit, the weirdest of the bunch. So tagline. Okay, that's top secret. Okay.